Hello, welcome. Today we are continuing our lessons on carbons and its compounds. Today we are going to be looking at carbon 2 oxide CO. In carbon 2 oxide, carbon exhibits oxidation state of plus 2. It is a choking gas produced during the incomplete combustion of gasoline in car engines. So that uh, form of gas that you produce through the exhaust of cars due to incombustion of gasoline is, is known as carbon 2 oxide. It is a choking gas. If you continue inhaling it, you will find it difficult to breathe. Now let's look at preparation of carbon 2 oxide. Carbon 2 oxide can be prepared by dehydrating ethane dioic or methane, methanoic acid with concentrated tetraoxysulfate 4 acid. The mixture of CO2 and CO liberated are passed through potassium hydroxide KOH solution to absorb carbon 4 oxide gas. And finally, this is supposed to be CO2, carbon 4 oxide. And finally, through concentrated tetraoxysulfate 4 acid, 6 acid, H2SO4, to dry the gas. You know that H2SO4 is a drying agent. Now, let's look at the physical properties of carbon 2 oxide. Carbon 2 oxide is a colorless, odorless, and poisonous gas. It is a neutral gas that means it has no effect on litmus paper. It is insoluble in water but dissolves in a solution of ammoniaca copper 2 chloride. It is slightly less denser than air. Now let's look at the chemical properties of carbon 2 oxide. 1. As a reducing agent. Carbon 2 oxide is a good reducing agent. It reduces some metallic oxides such as iron 2 oxide, lead 2 oxide, and copper 2 oxide to metals. Carbon 2 oxide being a reducing agent always oxidizes itself to carbon 4 oxide. Carbon 2 oxide also reduces iodine 4 oxide to iodine and steam to hydrogen. Carbon 2 oxide bonds in air or oxygen with a pale blue flame to form carbon 4 oxide, which turns lime water milky. Now, what are the uses of carbon 2 oxide? It is used as a gaseous fuel and its constituents are coal gas, water gas, and producer gas. It is used in the manufacture of ethanol. It is used as a reducing agent. It is widely used industrially in the extraction of metals. Uh, in subsequent classes, we are going to be looking at types of coal. Please, if you like this, hit the subscribe button. If you have any question regarding this and other lectures, drop it on the comment section. Like and share this video so that your friends can see it. Thank you and God bless you.